Hello, this is Reb Yosef Schreiber coming to you from the land of Israel. This week is Parsha's Kitavo. It's uh, the final discourses of Moshe before it passes away, and it takes place on the border of Eretz Israel. Uh, the next step for the Bnei Israel will be to take the Holy Land. They have already conquered a part of um, their what is going to be their heritage, the lands of Sichon and Og. Moshe reminds them of that. And he says that until this day, that God has not given you a heart to know, eyes to see, and ears to hear. And he then mentions that they didn't uh, eat bread or wine in the desert, their clothes did not wear out, and that um, uh, it was all done so they should know that I am Hashem, your God. And the commentaries discuss this, uh, the poetry is very beautiful and moving, a knowing heart. And what it's talking about is a person's eyes for the first time being opened up to the benevolence of God. The first time, so to speak, a person really discovers religion and it enters into their heart. And when something like that happens, it makes an impression on a person. Now, uh, it can be just a function of time and maturity, and it can also be a function of um, of tikkun uh, hamidot, a person improving their character. Uh, in the case of the uh, Jewish people, they were extremely quarrelsome, but once they had the victory over the uh, two Amorite kings and received some land, then they recognized the goodness of God and their whole point of view changed. Uh, It's also a developmental process. Um, In the um, discussion by Rabbi Yadin Stein Zaltz that they started with Na'asev and Nishma, we will say and we will we will hear, meaning that we'll accept the Torah as it is and we'll pr- try to keep it, and then we'll try to understand it as well. Voluminous document. And he says that the knowing heart is the, um, the panimius, uh, the, the inside inner meaning of na'asev nishma. Um, the um, Avi Ezri says that when a person receives a gift, the, the donor will tell them uh, what it was like before the gifts and um, what are the benefits of the gifts, and the person will search out the truths of the issues that uh, why you received the gift, and once he comprehends them, he'll attempt to do the will of the donor, and he will, uh, he will then discuss these things and publicize what he saw with others to share his insights. So, the, I, where you start to see the uh, hand of God is in the location and the circumstances surrounding the people's uh, insight into God. The, the first time that, the, that true knowledge of God graced their hearts. And what you see is that um, it's Eretz Yisrael, Parnassah, victory in war, and um, the five books of Moses that these are the things that will become objects of love and fascination because they are associated with the person's discovery of religion. And what this means 
is that these are the things that are going to be in the um, consci- national consciousness of the Jewish people, and this is where they will see that this is where God is to be found. Okay. I would like to now sing um, Avinu Malkenu, popular prayer and song for the high holidays. Shabbat Shalom. O vinu malkeinu, chaneinu va'aneinu. O vinu malkeinu, chaneinu va'aneinu, ki ein lanu ma'asim. Asei imanu, tzedaka v'chesed. Asei imanu tzedaka v'chesed v'hoshienu. Asei imanu tzedaka v'chesed. Asei imanu tzedaka v'chesed v'hoshienu. Avinu malkeinu, chaneinu va'aneinu. Avinu malkeinu, chaneinu va'aneinu, ki ein banu ma'asim. Asei imanu, tzedaka v'chesed. Asei Imanu tzedaka v'chesed v'hoshienu. Asei imanu tzedaka v'chesed. Asei imanu tzedaka v'chesed v'hoshienu. O vinu malkeinu. Chaneinu va'aneinu, o'avinu malkeinu, chaneinu va'aneinu, ki ein banu ma'asim. Asei imanu, tzedaka v'chesed. Asei imanu, tzedaka v'chesed, v'hoshienu. Asei imanu, tzedaka v'chesed. Asei imanu, tzedaka v'chesed, v'hoshienu.